We're getting so close to the launch of the Mi 10 series right now, and we've got the best look yet at the Mi 10 Pro at least. These are still renders, however, we don't have official images of the real device from Xiaomi, except for a little teaser in this video that they posted today. We did also get that leak of a real Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro device about a month ago now and yeah so it looks like that was 100% correct that was actually the Mi 10 Pro that's what we'll be getting when it comes to market in a few days there have also been rumors about a possible Mi 10 Pro premium edition this has been talked about a little bit because the Mi Note 10 which was the first phone to use this new 108 megapixel camera sensor from Xiaomi that also had a premium edition which was the actual phone that got the top spot on the DxO mark. For right now, these rumors are very sparse and they don't have much backing to them, but I'll let you know if those rumors do persist. So let's look inside the Xiaomi Mi 10. These were posted officially by Xiaomi today. I always love looking inside smartphones. The main feature that Xiaomi was showing off today is what they call this VC, which is a vapor chamber to dissipate heat away from the phone, more away from the battery and the processor. Xiaomi have put this in a ton of different devices of theirs and a lot of Redmi devices also have this type of vapor chamber that is supposed to keep the phone cooler under heavy tasks like gaming. So according to Xiaomi, this is the biggest vapor chamber ever put in a smartphone. And it certainly does look way bigger than the other vapor chambers that they used. For example, in the Redmi Note 8 Pro, it looks to be two or three times bigger than that. Really the benefit of a vapor chamber is that it is supposed to dissipate heat away from both the battery and the processor to keep the processor cooler. And so the processor doesn't have to throttle itself as much if it gets too hot. Overall, the benefit should be slightly better performance, although I don't really complain about performance in many phones that I use these days. So it's actual use, we don't really know, but anyway, it's there and Xiaomi says it's one of the biggest. They also compared it to the Mate 30 Pro 5G, obviously a much more expensive phone than either the Mi 10 or the Mi 10 Pro is gonna come. So yes, the vapor chamber is bigger than that one and they also filmed both of the phones with an infrared camera to give us a look at the heat and where it was. But there are so many aspects to all of this, not just the hardware, the processors are different. Of course, the software is different too with their skins on top of Android, but it's good that we've got a bigger vapor chamber. Every little helps. Just as a side note, looking inside the phone, we can see a little bit of the camera setup. If the Mi 10 follows the Mi Note 10 in design, the very bottom camera there is an ultra wide camera and the camera unit above that looks absolutely huge. If we look at the Mi 10 and the design on the back, they actually put the 108 megapixel branding right at the top of the camera array. You would therefore assume that the 108 megapixel camera is above that branding, but actually if the design does follow the Mi Note 10, the big 108 megapixel camera sensor will just be above the ultra wide camera, second up from the bottom. There have also been rumors about a brand new inline stepping motor that is haptic feedback in the Mi 10 series. We can't see that right now, so again, we'll have to wait and see how good that is. And Xiaomi showed off this really cool video of the Mi 10 Pro solving a Rubik's Cube in super quick time. Obviously beating a human, this is a machine with a brand new processing chip inside, so it's obviously gonna be quicker. It has absolutely no relation in terms of how you're gonna use the phone on a daily basis, but it's a cool video nonetheless. And to finish off the video, really good news about Xiaomi in general is that in the spring and the autumn, they will be releasing flagship phones. So we'll have two flagships a year in the spring. You'll get the Mi series to compete with the S series from Samsung the P series from Huawei and in the autumn, we'll get the Mix series to compete with the Mate series from Huawei and the Note series from Samsung. The obvious reason for this is because of all the trouble that Huawei is having outside of China right now. So that's a lot of sales that need to be taken up by competitors. Oppo and OnePlus are obviously competing there, but Xiaomi want to compete too. So good news for Xiaomi fans, you'll be getting two flagships per year. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.